Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about unsolved mysteries in physics and today I'm talking about randomness in nature. So what means randomness? If you go back in history after the big scientific revolutions until the end of the 19th century, it seemed that everything was known and calculable and if you knew Newton's uh, law of gravitation and Maxwell equations as as a matter of principle you could calculate everything and predict the future fantastic well that was the situation and although there are, are some practical problems where uh, this determinism runs into problems uh, such as uh, in complex systems and the in chaotic dynamics it's well known that you you, you have a, a practical randomness there as a matter of principle you could still think that yeah you could calculate the future but now came the beginning of the 20th century and the discovery of randomness and uh, for example an electron seems to uh, randomly decide whether to be in a spin state up or down or a radioactive nucleus seems to randomly uh, choose the the moment in which it decays so and this annoyed a lot of people, people were desperate, Schrödinger was desperate, particularly Einstein did not like the idea of randomness in nature and he um, said the famous phrase God did not play dice or God does not play dice. What does that mean? It's sometimes a little bit misinterpreted because it's not that he liked, uh, he disliked so much the idea of randomness as such, but he said, well, you have to give a reason for it, okay? And he phrased this in Latin. Uh, he said, um, I don't say probabilitatem esse delendam, which means I don't want to destroy the idea, but probabilitatem esse deducendem, deducendam, that means give me a reason for it. And I think in his, in this latter, uh, this latter viewpoint, uh, he's correct because uh, there is a problem as a matter of principle that why should we be unable to predict the future if we are really so smart and um, well so the possibilities are, are, are these it's possible that uh, some genius discovers so-called hidden variables that explain everything and you're able to calculate the future although I don't think this is very likely. By the way, mathematicians have tried to disprove the possibility of hidden variables, but as mathematicians like to do, they start out from wrong premises, and so there is no proof against the idea, okay? But uh, instead, if it turns out that nature is random, um, indeed, we need to explain it, and this is a problem. And uh, yeah, there might be a third possibility um, that the, the question is ill-posed, that the very idea of determinism um, and the very idea of, of randomness opposed to determin determinism, which is a sequence of logical events taking place in three space and one time dimension, um, is the wrong picture, okay? So we might have a problem with the very idea of space and time and uh, this might sound a little bit vague but I would prefer this latter possibility because um, if you try to quantify randomness and physics is something you want to quantify you end up with the constant uh, of uh, with the constant H the quantum of action and this is another riddle which is unexplained so it might turn out that unless we don't explain the existence of the quantum of action we don't understand randomness in nature if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it and if you're interested in these kind of fundamental questions subscribe to this channel